Hey guys! So today I want to talk about a few tinted lip balms that I've tried. I was very excited when I finally got these because I've been wanting to try tinted lip balms for a while now. For those of you who watch my lip product review videos, you know I struggle with a dry lip problem with that white ring of nastiness. And you know that I am not big on lipsticks or necessarily a lot of color. So I always thought that tinted lip balms would probably be right up my alley. And I thought right. So far, all the ones I've tried, I really like. I don't know why I didn't discover these sooner. But anyways, let me show you what I got. So the first one I purchased is from Burt's Bees because the Burt's Bees chapstick is my all-time favorite. And the last time I went to go pick up one of my chapsticks and saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, how adorable. The packaging I just loved immediately. It's this fat, round cardboard tube. And then you just open it up like this and the chapstick was in here. Ta-da! So this was about $6 and I got it at CVS. The color is called Pink Blossom and it's just a typical wind-up chapstick except it's tinted. And just to quickly brief you, a few things it says on the packaging is like a hint of color that cares for your lips. 100% natural. Discover the beauty of well-being. So here's what it looks like on my hand. And oh my goodness, this smells so good. It reminds me of Starburst, which is a really yummy smell to me, but don't worry, it's not overwhelming or anything. So do I like this? Yeah, I mean, it does what it's supposed to. It's a lip balm, it's moisturizing, it adds a little color, I love it. The next one I tried is by Neutrogena. It's their Revitalizing Lip Balm Sheer Tint with SPF 20. I got it at Ulta for like five or six dollars. And this one is shaped really cute, like oval. Very cute and different. The color is Sunny Berry, which is that one right there. It's very bright. On the packaging it says, softer, rosier, and healthier looking lips even after you take it off. It also says in just one week it's supposed to improve the lips texture and it's supposed to help them look fuller and more defined. Pretty cool. Now this one I'm not too fond of the smell and I can't really describe it. It's not like horrible or super strong. It's just not a very appealing smell to me but luckily it's light enough that I can just get over it because out of all three of the tinted lip balms I'm going to show you I feel like this one works the best. I mean they all work the same. They're moisturizing etc. But with this little baby I never get a ring of anything Thing. like the white buildup even after having it on all day and talking and whatever my lips still look clean I mean even with my normal chapstick after I've worn it all day and haven't touched it up I'll get like this weird lip buildup but with this one so far I have not gotten that I don't know what it is but I like it now the last one I'm going to talk about is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now it is the Alta brand tinted lip balm in the color bloom this one doesn't come with any packaging so I don't have like any advertising things to spiel off to you. This is how it looks on my hand. Do you see it there? Do you see it? I like this one because it has a little bit of a sparkle to it whereas the other ones are just more matte. The smell is faint. It's kind of like a cheap sweet smell. This was about four dollars. It's definitely my least favorite just because it feels a little thicker to me. I feel like it's climbing up to an almost lipstick like it could just be a sheer lipstick. So kind of a little cakey for a lip balm. Yeah. Well that's all of them. My Burt's Bees, Neutrogena, and Ulta Tinted Lip Balms. Thank you guys for watching. Please Please let me know if you guys know of any other ones I should maybe check out. Please subscribe if you haven't already and you feel like it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!